Hey, it's Jamie from Modern Day Fox. Today we're making an Instant Pot breakfast porridge, which is vegan and grain free. Start with cubed two cups of apples and squash. And if you microwave your squash for about four minutes before you try to peel and cube it, it's a lot easier. Um, you wanna do this first, soak overnight about uh, roughly a cup of nuts, raw nuts, then rinse and drain them the next morning when you're ready to make this. And I use apple, uh, excuse me, I use almonds, cashews, and walnuts. I don't think I'll use the cashews again because they have a little bit of a different consistency. Uh, make, pour those into your blender and then just do a kind of like a flour consistency. It'll be kind of grainy. And that's what it looks like from the top. The next thing that you're gonna do is add your squash and your apples to the inner liner pot of your Instant Pot. Followed by the nut flour that you just made in your blender. And then you can add a chopped date. Just soak your date first in hot water. Take the pit out and chop it. Um, if you don't want to use dates, you can use raisins or you can skip that step altogether. Up to you. Next, you'll add a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then take a can of coconut milk and shake it well to mix the cream and the coconut water and then add one cup to your pot. Then you're gonna add a fourth of cup of unsweetened almond milk. If you have vanilla almond milk, that works fine. Just add a quarter cup to your pot. Then two tablespoons of coconut sugar. If you don't have coconut sugar, you can sub with maple syrup or if you don't mind refined sugar, you can use brown sugar or regular white sugar. Give it a stir. Add a pinch of salt, another quick stir, and then add your pot to your Instant Pot. Put the lid on. Make sure that you turn that valve to sealing so that your pot comes to pressure. And then set your pot for 20 minutes high pressure. When the timer goes off, just turn your valve to release the pressure quickly. I usually put an oven mitt over my valve just to cover the steam and protect my cabinets and anyone who might be standing around. Take off your lid and then you're gonna stir your uh, porridge and break down the squash and the apples to your desired consistency. Just use your spoon and kind of break it against the side of the pot so that it's more like an oatmeal consistency. Once you've done that, you can add your desired toppings. Uh, I put some coconut in there, some raisins, additional dates, whatever you like. Serve and enjoy. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're following me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Modern Day Fox and on my blog, moderndayfox.com.